everyone, it's Cheryl from Teaching Two and Three Year Olds. This week's theme is hibernation and bears. And we are going to be reading the book, Share Big Bear, Share, and about a bear, and baby bears not hibernating. Now let me give you a tour of our classroom. On our train table, we've got all different kinds of bears, and we've got our arch blocks, and we've got our tree blocks. Over in our dramatic play area, we have kept our hot cocoa shop up because the children have loved it so much. And when I see that the children are really having a good time with something, I'm gonna let it stay out for a while. And they, this will be our third week with the winter wear because they absolutely love it. They love getting dressed up in the hats and the scarves and we've got mittens and even ski masks. And they've had such a good time with that. So that will be out again. And I'll put the, um, I have a hot cocoa printable packet that I put in last week's video, but I'll also put the link to that in this week's video as well. Also part of our dramatic play is following the bear steps to the big bear cave. We're gonna be talking a lot about bears and hibernation. And we will also mention that bears, unlike other animals that hibernate, they do wake up now and then in the winter, but they don't move much. They usually just move around inside their cave. So the children can put the big bears in the cave to sleep, but they can also go in the cave as well. And I'm going to invite them to bring their own little stuffed animals that they can put into the cave as well. One of our art activities is going to be making bear caves. And this is simply taking a paper bowl, cutting um, part of this off so that there's a little opening when you turn it upside down. And then we're gonna use our fluffy paint, which is a mixture of white glue and shaving cream to put on top of the cave as well as cotton balls. And then we'll have a little brown pom-pom that will re represent the bear that goes into the cave. On our light table, we will be working with different colored counting bears. And we made these caves the same, similar to how we are making our bear caves at the art table as far as using a bowl, a paper bowl that's turned upside down. And then I painted each one a different color that matches the colored bears. And so they can sort them by color and then put them inside their caves. On our easel, we are going to have triangles. That's the featured shape of the month. And then we are going, I have different color paint, and then they're going to apply the paint using long cotton swabs. You can use regular ones. These are special ones that I love because they have wooden sticks and they're longer and they're sturdier. So I'll put a link to these in the description, but they're a lot of fun to use with paint. In our sensory bin, we have bears and we have tree blocks and pom-poms and caves. And I even put some of these wooden numbers in there too because I love to expose the children to um, numbers and letters wherever I can. And they can even um, put a number there and then put that many bears with the number. So it's a little bit of um, simple counting and number recognition that's in our sensory bin. On our Play-Doh table this week, we are going to be using our uppercase letter stampers, and then I have different wooden rolling pens that they're going to use as well. Again, using, um, you, exposing the children to, their, to the alphabet can be done through play such as this and such numbers, which I just showed you in the sensory bin. There are so many playful ways to keep introducing them to numbers and to their letters and colors and shapes as well. On our activity table, we have this Teddy mix and match activity where they pull the bear out from the basket to the left and then they match it to one of the bears that's on the tray. We also have our Melissa and Doug magnetic shapes, which I like to use with a small magnetic cookie sheet. We also have this teddy bear 
puzzle where they can change the, the face of the bear. There's different feelings. They're sad, happy, angry, scared. And then there's different clothing that they can put on the bear as well. One of our circle time activities is going to be matching the bears to their same colored cave. And what we're going to do is we are going to um, hide the bears and then as they find the bears, they put them in the same colored cave. And I love doing activities like this at circle time. I've talked about this before because it gets the children up and moving while they're learning. So that's how we have our classroom set up for our hibernation theme. And if you're looking for any other themes, just go to the playlist and you under themes and you can see all of the different themes that we have done in this classroom over the past year. Thanks for watching.